right, look here, see, it's another work gear word on the street. And this week it's the Apple iPhone 9. Now Apple were known for their powerful phones and beautiful designs. And they're also known to rock the Apple car when it comes to tech specs. So here's what we can expect from this upcoming tech. I think that makes sense. We should see Apple's very own EyeSight Retina Scanning Tech that will allow you to sign into your Apple ID on your iPhone with just your eyes. And I would expect to see this feature integrated across all Apple devices in the future. And we're almost guaranteed to see, at the very least, 2K OLED display. And I know this because Apple for 100 million. 5.5 inch panels from Samsung early 2016 and it only set them back around two and a half billion dollars which is pocket change for apple really and the oled panels will help to reduce power consumption and improve pixel accuracy and color saturation on the back of the device expect to see a dual camera sensor setup that will probably half inch from sony we can also expect this to be accompanied by a laser autofocus sensor and as for the front shooter we should see a 13 megapixel selfie cam with a flash. No honor among thieves, eh? Inside this iPhone, as standard, will not be an octa-core. No, it will be an 8-core, which will be supported by not 4 gigabytes of RAM. No, quad gigabytes of RAM. So don't you see what I'm saying here? Apple want you to think differently. The theme of the campaign is, is think different. It's the people honoring the people who think different. Now, we could expect to see no headphone jack, no removable battery, and no physical home button. But this iPhone will support full high-res playback and the Pro version will probably come bundled with high-res capable earpod headphones as standard. The inbuilt battery will charge super fast and wirelessly. And despite not having a physical home button, his presence will be felt using the force. Touch. With haptic feedback behind the screen. And while we're talking about the screen, we can be almost sure to see a curved display on this one. I can see. Ever completely edge-to-edge -edge design. And there's a good chance that this iPhone's front and back outer casing will be made from, you guessed it, Gorilla Glass 5, which will probably be the world's strongest phone glass known to man, for now. So now, onto my favorite section, I like to call taking a leak. I heard we could see no lightning port jack on this phone. Apple may decide to ditch it in favour of an attachable magnet charger similar to that seen on the iWatch. I mean, Apple Watch. They'll bridge the gap with an attachable magnetic lightning port adapter that will double up as an audio lightning port input and analog audio input also. And I also heard Apple are really digging the Samsung Note style. This. And will roll out their iPhone Pro version with Apple's very own pen seal as standard. And I heard Apple are the official patent holders of flexible screen technology and that there's a good chance that their launch event may end with a twist. <laughs> so that's it for this what gear word on the street and I could go into a lot more detail and speculations about this iPhone. But ain't nobody got time for that right now. But let me know what you guys have heard on the Underworld Grapevine about this new iPhone. Leave a comment in the description below and I'll try and work it out into my next video. So thanks once again for watching What Gear Reviews. And if you just subscribed, that means you are now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I really appreciate your support and I'll see you guys in the next one. So don't be late.